What's up troopers, my name is Neon and welcome to the best weapons for each class part 2. So let's crack into this. I just want to say thank you very much for the insane love on part 1, that video done very amazingly and thank you very much for everyone subscribing to the channel for that video because as I said there was almost 90% of people watch these videos who are not subscribed so thank you very much for actually subbing to the channel, I really do appreciate it, you guys have really grown this channel and I'm deeply honoured for you guys doing that so thank you very much and if you haven't subscribed already please do and leave a like as well and let me know in the comment section what is your favourite weapon in Battlefield 5. So the first weapon it has to be the Gavir. 43 for the assault class the Gewehr 43 has a fire rate of 300 now that is pretty dope 300 fire rate for the Gewehr 43 max rounds for that gun is 11 and as you can see on screen right now this is the specialized in tree what I use for it this is the side you really want to use so obviously you can have the reload a lot more quicker because if you don't it's going to take way more longer to reload with this weapon so this is the tree you really need to use. It's very good as well because the left side of the tree, you can obviously have that better hit fire. So if you are really close range at an enemy, then you can hit fire and actually win a lot of gunfights with it. This weapon is fantastic for medium range and you'd be surprised what you can do very long range. I've been very successful doing long range with the Gewehr 43. As you can see obviously in the footage as well, look what I'm doing across the street on underground. I'm just dinking all these people. Most of the time I can't really see what I'm doing because there's lots of smoke. But I'm just taking them all out and they're probably getting pretty frustrated. I'm just keep taking them out with the Gewehr 43. So you can really see how deadly this weapon can become. So if you are really that guy who likes doing medium range and long range gunfights, the Gewehr 43 is the weapon for you. And now a fan favourite weapon for the medic class, it has to be the Tommy Gun, aka the m 198 a one the Tommy gun. I just love this weapon. Really insane when it comes to the fire rate of 720 fire rate. Now that is pretty dope. There's two different ways you can use the Tommy gun. You can go the 20 mag round of the tree or you can do the 50 mag of the tree. I prefer the 50 mag of the tree and this is a specialization tree what I use for the Tommy gun. This is the side you really want to use. You could go the other side and do the 20 mag if you really want to because you can actually have that really nice fire rate what increases it. But the thing is with the Tommy gun you don't really want that increased fire rate you just really want the extra rounds for this gun because this weapon is a run and gun situation just like a lot of other weapons like Suomi or ZK but the Tommy gun is a run and gun situation so 50 rounds is the way to go for it and as I said when you do the 50 rounds that's the 720 fire rate for this weapon I like to use dot sight for this weapon. Most people like to do the iron sight. They just kind of add that realistic of the weapon. But the dot sight is the way to go for this weapon. Give it a go and tell me what you think about the Tommy gun. I know a lot of people have used the Tommy gun. But if you are very new to the battlefield. Then the Tommy gun is the weapon for you. And now a weapon what so many people have been telling me about. And I know why you guys have been telling me about it. The Bren. The Bren, I love it so much. The thing is with this weapon, I use free time sight for the Bren. The reason why I love using the free time sight for the Bren is because of the recoil control. I handle the recoil very well with this weapon, especially if you get to a certain situation, you can bipod, you feel like you're laser and beam people. This weapon is actually pretty decent when you try to fight people at certain long range to medium range. It's actually a pretty decent weapon. You can be very successful at close range as well, but I wouldn't really recommend being close range. I would say try to stay between between medium range and long range for this weapon but if there is enemies close range you can do pretty well just make sure your bullets and your target is on point this is a specialization tree I use for it as well because this is the tree where it really handles the recoil the most the thing is as well the reason I don't choose the quick reload on the left side or anything like that is because this gun reloads pretty quick in general so you don't really need to do that so the full right side is the way to go because that is the where you're going to be handling that recoil so much more better fire rate of 514 with a max ammo count of 30 bullets now that is a pretty decent gun for this support class and now we're in the recon class and we're going to be talking about the zh and for all the american people out there the ch the ch29 the reason why I like this weapon is because it's a guaranteed two shot. The thing is with this weapon, it performs just like a sniper rifle. That's why it's in the recon class. Like the weapons like the Car 98, if you hit them once in the upper torso, you've got to hit them again so you can actually get that kill. 
Well, with this weapon, you, it's the same thing. You hit him in the upper torso, you just need to shoot him again, and you kill him. But the thing is with this weapon is, you can just aim down sight, and you can use the six times. And with this weapon, 164 fire rate, so you can shoot this weapon a lot more quicker. So if you're seeing enemies and all that, then you can just take them out pretty easy. I would definitely recommend when you do use this weapon, make sure your bullets are on point. Do not miss at all. So as you have five rounds, I would say make sure if you are killing people, that if you use all of these ammunition and everything like that in the weapon, make sure you use two bullets for one enemy, two bullets for another enemy, and make sure you reload. Yes, you have one extra bullet, but trust me, you really don't want to use that one bullet to try to shoot someone because there's a very high chance you're not going to go and kill them. So if you have that one bullet left, you're just going to go and hit mark them, and then they're going to take cover, and the enemies know where you are, and you're completely screwed because you've got to reload. So just make sure if you are using all four bullets when you kill two enemies, you might get lucky and you might get a one shot but the thing is if you are one bullet left don't try to kill an enemy you really want to make sure you have two bullets at least left to try attack an enemy this is a specialized edition tree i use for this weapon as well this is the path i take you technically can take the right side if you really wanted to to actually give you six rounds so when i mentioned before that you might have that one bullet left well if you do the six rounds you won't need to worry because you have two bullets left but the thing is, I like using the left side is because you have the trigger job. So that means you can actually shoot this gun way more quicker. So if, if there is an enemy pretty close to you, you want to try to kill them as quick as you can. So I would definitely recommend the left side. But it's totally up to you. you. You can kind of mess about really what you want to do. You can go with the six bullets or you can go with the left side and just shoot a lot more quicker with this gun. Anyway, guys, that is the end of part two. Thank you very much for everyone showing your support on this video. If you haven't seen part one, go and check it now if you have seen part one and now you've finished with part two thank you very much for checking out this video you guys are absolutely crushed it on this content thank you very much for checking it out subscribe if you haven't because i'm super excited for battle for six and they're going to be making so much more guide videos and so much more about weapons and everything like that when battlefield six comes out anyway troopers thank you very much for love and support as always if you haven't already make sure to leave a like comment subscribe to be a part of the pink Wigami, and i'll see you troopers in the next video peace